Hi all. What I'd like to uh, talk about today is um, habit and lifestyle. I have been going on and on about loving yourself, changing your behavior, and when you love yourself and change your behavior, your life changes because the only thing that you can control is yourself. And when you are in control of yourself, many things in your life change. Some faster than others. Often we're impatient. But when you're in control, it feels good. And one of the things that comes through as well when you're in control is that you really like the person that you are. And liking the person that you are is part of loving yourself. The other thing, and this is my interpretation, is that if I say I love you, and I also say I don't love me, then where do I get the love to give to you? I personally see AccuWeight Loss as an incredible vehicle for getting back control of your life and truly loving yourself. I invented the magic protocol because using the magic protocol requires that you change your habit. All of us who are truly overweight are overweight because we do not control what we put into our bodies. We're conflicted very often. Should I? Shouldn't I? Should I? Shouldn't I? Now let's break it down into little pieces. There's no question in my mind that when situations are emotional, I want to cheat. Why? Because the moment that I cheat, I feel a sense of comfort and relief. And so I really want to do it. Then there's the other side. When I do it, I'm left with concern, questions, guilt, remorse. The residue that says, why did you do that? It wasn't worth it because the feeling of comfort didn't really last. Now, That behavior is the habit that most of us who are overweight have. We are under emotional pressure from any multiplicity of reasons. And I can ease that by cheating. And so my habit is to fall back on putting something into my mouth in order to address. But let's not minimize. I also want that cheat. The other side is, what I really want is 
I want to lose that weight because I feel darn good when I look at myself and I see the results of having lost the weight and also realizing that I was the one who caused it to happen regardless of what I did to lose the weight. I'm the one who did it and it makes me feel good about myself because I'm doing what makes me feel good and the only piece that's missing in the equation is there is very minimal awareness of the child self that wants you to cheat because they want what they want when they want it they want it immediately and the moment the immediacy is met for the child it's over so what it is that i'm suggesting I'm suggesting we bring in this Russian scientist by the name of Pavlov and creating a new habit that will override our old habit of doing what we do. And how do we do that? It's very, very simple. Here's the rule. If you do something again and again and again, without variance. It means every single time I do something and I repeat doing something and I repeat doing something over a period of time, it will create a new habit within myself that will be flowing rather than having to struggle to do it. So what is it that I'm suggesting? I'm suggesting we start with one week of every single time you think about going off the program and cheating that you use the magic protocol. Seven full days. At the end of seven full days, get on the scale. If you're happy, try it for another seven days. And so for an additional seven days, every single time that you have a thought to cheat, you use the magic protocol. Now two weeks have passed. And if two weeks have passed and you're clear and using the magic protocol, you're almost there. Because the rule of 21 says, if you do something for 21 consecutive days without variance, it becomes established as a habit. You take back control. You're the boss. And you don't have to think about it because the reason you're doing it is very, very simple. Don't lie to yourself and say, I didn't want that cheat. You know darn well you did. It was just not appropriate at that moment because all it would have given you is a moment of respite and some comfort. But it wouldn't have given you what you want. So you were conflicted. That conflict diminishes in power every single time you do the magic protocol. Do it for 21 consecutive days, and then let's talk about it.